Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. Big shout out to FX Luminaire. I'm excited about this video about uplighting. We're gonna show you some real tangible uplighting techniques and most of this video is courtesy of FX Luminaire, one of the leading manufacturers of landscape lights in North America. So I hope you guys enjoy and as always, send me your questions and your comments to cal at lightingdoctor.ca because I'm happy to answer those for you. So enjoy the video and I look forward to hearing from you. Tell me about your lighting plan here. Yeah, so the, on the front of the house, we have two separate lighting needs. Okay. We have the landscape and as well as the architecture of the home. Okay. Now, uh, so let's start with landscape then. Sure. How did you decide to light up uh, this section, maybe this, this maple here? On this maple, we chose the PB wall wash. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little smaller of a maple and it's real wide. Okay. So instead of using two up lights, mm -hmm. we use one wall wash. Well, I'm sure that helps with really with that, the width of the canopy. That's right, it looks great. And it probably saves the homeowner a little bit because you need one fixture rather than two. Maybe exactly. it simplifies your design too. Exactly. Good, good. Tell me about the, the architecture then. Sure, on the architecture we used up lighting and we have one up light on both sides of the window. Okay. And then we have one up light behind the bush mm -hmm. and it's going all the way up to the peak. Okay. Well, focusing on that really probably takes the light out of the window, is that right? That's correct. We, we strategically put the up light behind the bush to, to kind of guard the window mm -hmm. from the light. Interesting, now what happens as that, that, that bush grows? Right, what we would like to do when the bush grows is come in with a 12 inch riser mm -hmm. to get the light above the bush and back up to the peak. That makes sense, that makes, that makes really the light pretty consistent I would think around the stonework and, and kind of keeping the light out of the window itself. That's right. So John, tell me what do you have going on here? We have a boulder wall and on top of the boulder wall, we have landscaping and a few trees. And so how did you decide to light this area? The wall, we use the PB wall wash. Yeah. We want more texture on the wall. Okay. So we use it two feet. The further you go out, you lose that little bit of texture. Okay, so close to the wall, lots of texture, farther from the wall, what, a very flat? Yeah, you start flattening out your wall a little bit. Okay. Which is a fine look. Sure, so uh, what about the trees here? The trees we use the up lighting and our viewing angle is from over here. So of course we used one up light going up the tree. Yeah. Now in in this case, you used one. Do you ever use two or three or when do you decide to do that? Yeah, as the tree grows, sometimes you might need to add a second light. Okay. Um, that it might be two, that might be five, six years. Okay. So it just depends on that, on the time frame and the growth of the tree. That's right. And even the various viewing angles for the homeowner, is that correct? That's correct, yep. Now, what about the, the pruning of the tree? Is that important? Yeah, as, as the foliage grows, it sometimes blocks the light. Mm -hmm. uh, we always recommend the homeowner prune maybe once or twice a year. And that's important because the foliage blocks the light, but yet the branching structure is really highlighted by the light itself. Is that right? That's exactly right. Okay, so the light can really go much farther than the tree, and you can take advantage of less light, really, if you keep the, the tree very well pruned. Exactly. Uplighting is the most dramatic type of landscape lighting. Let's review some basics. Trees are traditionally illuminated with uplights, with a special focus to ensure all areas of the tree are highlighted from the necessary viewing areas. Use long shrouds or hex baffles when the light source is visible to your general audience. Focus on lighting the trunk and branching structure of a tree instead of the leaves. Always ensure that the tree is properly pruned. Wall washes are a great option for shrubs, walls, and boulders. To add light while hiding the fixture, use in-grade lights. 
Don't forget to highlight the architectural features of a house. Uplights are the most impactful way to bring color into a landscape. By adding a few colors. Has your home become the neighborhood eyesore? Ew. Transform your home in no time with the Lighting Doctors easy to install, do it yourself LED landscape lighting kits and step by step instructional installation videos. With just a few quick steps, you can go from ordinary to extraordinary with the Lighting Doctor. Disclaimer, this video was a dramatization. Although the Lighting Doctor can help make your home stand out and look great amongst your neighbors, we can't physically change your home from being a shed. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily install low voltage landscape lighting. So once you've selected your lights and you know where you want to put them, I go around and place my lights using a rubber mallet and hammering the ground stakes in to give them extra stability and make them nice and sturdy and then I go and screw in each of my fixtures at each of those ground stakes. The next step once I have all my lights placed is going around and running my wire just above ground at each fixture making sure to leave extra wire in case I need to make any changes down the road. Once you've laid out your wire the next step is wiring your light simply by cutting into the loops stripping approximately an inch off each end of the wire and grabbing your waterproof gel filled connectors. In this case we're using a connector called a BVS2 and there will be two connections at every light fixture with one wire going in, one wire going out, and then your wire from your fixture. Using a good gel filled waterproof connector that snaps tight will ensure that you have a long lasting connection that won't deteriorate over time and keep your lights working as they should be. Once you've got all your lights wired, the next step is wiring them back to the transformer. So in order to size your transformer, you need to add up the wattage of all the lights on your project. If you have a total of 10 lights at 5 watts each, that's 50 watts. A general rule of thumb is you want to size your transformer approximately 20% larger. So if you have 10 lights at 5 watts, that's 50 watts. 20% larger would be 60 watts or higher. Here's an example of a Kitchler 60 watt transformer with a photocell that operates the lights with dawn and dusk, as well as a simple timer to turn those off and give you a little extra control if need be. Finally, you want to go and wire all your lights into your transformer. Each transformer should have two taps on it, if not more, that you can simply wire your two ends of the wire into. And then mount your transformer either on a 4x4 post or close to the building next to the GFCI receptacle so that you can plug in your lights, turn them on, and go around and test all your lights now and make sure they're working. If you want to upgrade your transformer to a Wi-Fi transformer. An easy way to do that is with the Weon Outdoor Wi-Fi switch. Simply by plugging your transformer into it and operating it with a simple app. And the last step is burying your wire with a flat shovel. Create a small trench, push your wire down six to eight inches, stomp it clean, and you're done. Now I'll show you what you're gonna find inside our premium do-it-yourself landscape lighting kit. So in each kit, you're gonna find 12 of the FX Luminaire uplights, each with a LED drop-in bulb rated over 30,000 hours, 10-foot lead wire, rubber seal around the light to keep out the elements, six-inch ground stake for maximum durability, and very simple and easy to use adjustments to get that light exactly where you want it. You're also gonna find eight of the FX Luminaire 12 inch path lights. Again, each with a 10 foot lead wire, rubber seal around the top to keep out the elements, eight inch ground stake for even more added stability. Each light comes with a T3 LED drop-in bulb, again, rated at over 30,000 hours and a five year warranty on these lights also. Inside every kit, you're also going to find all the tools you need to power and connect your system. This is your 120 watt Kitchler transformer that comes complete with 
photo cell and easy to use timer, which controls up to 20 lights on the system. We've also thrown in at no charge, a Weon outdoor Wi-Fi timer that your transformer can be plugged into to make it Wi-Fi, which is compatible with Amazon Alexa. You're gonna find over 60 waterproof professional connections and 500 feet of 12-2 low voltage direct burial wire. Be sure to visit us at lightingdoctor.ca to check out all our professional quality do-it-yourself landscape lighting kits and get more information about adding landscape lighting to your home and garden.